Five centuries ago, the hill-covered forests of South America witnessed the arrival of explorers of a different kind, half Portuguese, half native. They were known as the Bandeiranches, the trailblazers. They crossed the unknown land, facing all sorts of challenges and hardships, searching for what they valued most, gold. Their legacy, a network of trails connecting the whole territory, giving birth to the country known today as Brazil. Centuries later, a new Bandeiranche arose, this time one with wings, a trailblazer of the skies, but with a different goal in mind, to connect small cities and regions that were unattended by air service. The challenges he needed to overcome were brutal. Lack of resources, a crowd of disbelievers, and a sky already ruled by giants. But like the former Bandeiranches, this new one was strong, tough, and brave. He went where no other airplane wanted to go. He went where people needed him most, crossing the thresholds of his own country to make history abroad as well. His legacy? A network of routes, a new segment of the market, and the cornerstone of the company known as Embraer. Fifty years later, Embraer is the global leader in regional jets, and it showcases some of the world's most advanced aircraft including three clean sheet designs in defense, commercial and business aviation. But Embraer's right to be here wasn't inherited. It came at a cost, paid challenge after challenge, disbelief after disbelief. So, we pay tribute to the one who led the way. The trailblazer, who came out of nowhere, fueled by sweat, tears, and dreams, changing regional aviation forever. Nesta segunda-feira, 22 de outubro, a aeronave H1H8703, representando todas as aeronaves H1H da Força Aérea Brasileira, realizou o último corte de motor, encerrando um ciclo que teve início em junho de 1967. Durante sua vida útil na FAB, a aeronave realizou missões de busca e salvamento, evacuação, emprego armado, ajuda humanitária... A cerimônia alusiva à despedida do H1H ocorreu na ala 5 em Campo Grande e contou com a presença do comandante da Força Aérea Brasileira e de oficiais generais do alto comando. Simbolicamente, a aeronave multimissão passou o serviço para o helicóptero Black Hawk. Ao final, os pilotos e tripulantes de ontem e de hoje incorporaram-se à tropa para o desfile militar.